Yes, Dr. Trivet, thank you so much for calling me. Yeah, yeah, uh, Dr. Trivet, I am relaxing. Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, yes, I'm taking my medication. Yes, Dr. Trivet, yes. Yeah, Dr. Trivet, when can I get out? When can I, you know, escape, get out of this place? It's a madhouse in here. You know, they're eating plants in here, Dr. Trivet. Yeah, I gotta get out, I gotta get out a little bit. H how long? How long do I have to stay in? A week? Oh, for goodness. Now, Dr. Trevitt, you better take out that medical prescription pad right now. Because uh, that, this is not happening. I don't want to stay in the house for a week. Do you realize that's all I smell is broccoli cooking in the house? Oh, it's disgusting. I got to get out and get the fresh air. Yeah. She's got some kind of kale boiling on the stove, beans. You have no idea what goes on over here, Dr. Trevitt. Yeah, yeah, I know you don't care. I know. I know. I know. Listen, Dr. Trivet, uh, I, I'm in an old man's sweater like right now. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. And I'm resting. She's got me resting. What do you mean it's a good thing that I rest? Dr. Trivet, uh, you are my physician. I, I, I think I take precedence over what my mother is doing. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. I'm getting another phone call. Uh, yeah, I'm getting another phone call. Can I call you back? Uh, good, good. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Oh, ignoramus. What do you want? Bartholomew, what? Oh, for goodness. I was just on the phone with Dr. Tribbett. Yeah, yeah, I know. He t yeah, he's your doctor too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I have full reign at that hospital when I go. Yeah. yeah. Well, wasn't I there? I greeted you. And I was in there. Yeah, well, I was in there with my arthritis. Yeah. How's your stomach? How's your stomach? Uh, yeah, well, uh, of course you passed it, for goodness sake. You eat like a horse. Oh, my God. Uh, now, listen, listen. L l l what did you call me for? Why did you bother to call me just now? Because I I'm resting, Bartholomew. I I'm under medication. Yes, I am. I my mother put me in this old man's sweater again. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She says, oh, buddy, let's put a sweater on you so you be nice and toasty warm. I am. All of a sudden, Bartholomew, she thinks I'm some sort of old man now. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. Listen, what'd you call me for? Because honestly, get to the point, because I know this can go on forever. Who? Who? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, where'd you find two fillies? Two? Who are you going out with? Henry? Henry, the German shepherd, the 15-year-old German shepherd that lives down the street, who can't even see in front of him. And he can't hear. Where did you pick up these fillies? Oh, a uh, butchie's bone bar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You don't know your way of wearing the women. You don't know your way. Are you taking them back to the bone bar tonight? There's, what's open? Nothing's open, for goodness sakes. Where? PetSmart. Who are these girls? Who are these girls? PetSmart. Have you and the... You and the ignoramus that's living down the street, and you know I have respect for Henry because he's the elderly, but come on. Come on. Pet smart. Now, you know they're going to roll you. You know it. They're, oh, they're going to want the treats, the toys, the clothes. Uh-huh. Uh, you got a big, thick wallet? Oh, you're richer than Rockefeller. Dig it up. Dig it up. I know you got money. Yeah. Don't you be calling. Hey, you didn't call me for money, did you? Oh, all right. All right. What, what, you had to just rub like a little salt in the wound tonight to tell me you got the date? You're going to get rolled. That's all I'm going to tell Yeah, well, of course I'm not there to supervise. No, no. Yeah. Oh, go. You know what, Bartholomew? Go and have yourself a good time tonight, you and Henry. Uh, does Henry remember to have his cane while he's walking down the street? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, don't you call me an old man. Don't you dare call me an old man. I have to recuperate. I have to. Uh, yeah, I'm taking medication. Yeah, why? Why? Yeah, I'm taking the meds. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got to recuperate, Bartholomew. You know, the doc told me I had to be in the house for a whole week. Yeah. That ain't going to happen, though. Not happening. No, no. Nope, 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 nope. I got jobs to do. I got a patrol. I got a lot of... Don't worry about my arthritis. Don't you worry about nothing. I'm... Hey, listen, Big Mouth. Don't tell anybody either. Don't tell anybody what's going on with me because you get a story all screwed up and then I'm, yeah, 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 I said it. And then wh what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to me? Yeah, don't say nothing. Just go off on your dates tonight 
the two of you. Oh, my God. You know, if, if I could be a fly on the wall tonight, I would have loved it. Oh, my goodness. Well, hey, listen, how much money are you bringing with you? A hundred? <laughs> you better stick another one in there. Yeah, you better. Oh, yeah. Henry's got money, though. Yeah, he does. He's got a few bucks. Well, he saved his money, Bartholomew. He's not like you, you big idiot. Going out and trying to pick up the women when you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that's all right. Put another $100 bill in that wallet. You're going to go through it. <laughs> you better call me when you get home. You better call me and let me know what happened. Better yet, you know what? Send me a smoke signal because honestly, I don't know what kind of trouble you're going to get in tonight and I can't be bailing you out of no place. No place. Yeah, I'm trapped. All right, well, thanks for, hey, thanks for calling and letting me know. You're going to go out and have at least a little fun tonight. All right, all right. I'll talk to you later. Let me go rest. The medication's kicking in.